Singaporeans go to the polls Friday to choose a new government. The election will be watched closely. Here are five things you need to know. Who is contesting the election? Prime Minister Lee Sin Long and his ruling People's Action Party will seek re-election and will be challenged in every parliamentary seat for the first time by eight opposition parties and two independents, most of which sell themselves as a check and balance against the PAP's dominant position. The PAP has governed Singapore since 1965. What are the big issues? The PAP will see itself tested on immigration policies and public transport as two of the biggest issues. Many Singaporeans say they feel the tiny island is too crowded and the Singaporean way of life is becoming threatened. More than 30% of Singapore's 5.5 million people are foreign. What is special about this year? Singapore celebrated its 50th year of independence August 9th with a National Day Parade. The country's first Prime Minister, Lee Kuan Yew, who is widely credited for transforming Singapore from a third world trading port to a global financial centre, died in March at the age of 91, marking the symbolic closing of an era. Mr Lee was Prime Minister for 31 years and is the father of Lee Sein Long, the current Prime Minister. What should you watch for in the results? The PAP is overwhelmingly expected to win. It has governed uninterrupted throughout Singapore's 50 years of independence and still enjoys widespread support. However, the 2011 election saw the PAP win 81 of 87 parliamentary seats, but only with 60.1% of the popular vote, its lowest share ever. What does this mean for the rest of Asia? Singapore's long open embrace of immigration is coming to an end. Foreign workers, particularly blue collar laborers from countries like Bangladesh, India and the Philippines, are already finding it harder to get employment passes and work in Singapore as the government ramps up its efforts to squeeze immigration and cope with a backlash from voters against perceived overcrowding in the tiny island. This election will see the ruling People's Action Party more widely challenged than ever before in a year that is highly significant for Singaporeans and marks a small milestone in this country's political history.